I had a professor, uh, Wick Skinner was his name, who insisted on calling me Mr. Tierney, which always scared me. And he was one of these quintessential time professors with a bow tie. He lives in Maine, he's now in his 80s, he's a close friend. He invites me over to his house one night and, and I walk in and he, he says, have a seat. And then he said, never get comfortable. And being kind of dumb, I thought he was talking about the sofa I was sitting on. He was not talking about the sofa I was sitting on. What he meant was, do not be complacent. Never get comfortable. Do not feel like everything is a-okay. Because why? You'll stop asking the tough questions, like how can I get a little better? Am I doing the right thing? What's working, what isn't working? So this notion of, I wanna get better, I'm gonna ask my tough questions, I'm gonna raise the bar higher and higher, is central to successful philanthropy. That's why we organized Give Smart around six questions. There are six questions around philanthropy, but those questions have a little more power than that. Here they are. The first three are strategic. For a philanthropist, they're strategic. What are my values and beliefs? That's a simple one. The reason that's important in philanthropy is if you don't know what you care about, really care about, how do you spend the money? Is it climate change? Is it poverty? Is it my local neighborhood? Is it Africa? Where, what's, what are my anchor points? What's really important? What are my values and beliefs? What is success and how are we gonna achieve it? Success, boy, that's an elusive thing. What's a successful life? Depends on you, your definition. What is success if you're giving money or, or you're trying to change a po policy? Or What does success look like? It's a tough question. Third question is a real toughie. What am I accountable for? Accountable? Me? Accountable? I'm just writing a check. I'm just volunteering. What am I accountable for? Those are strategic kinds of questions. The back half of the book are more execution questions. What, is it, what does it take to get the job done? Most things in life take longer and cost more. Guarantee it, little postulate, put it in the bank, no matter what you're doing. Your car breaks down, it will cost more to fix it than you expect it to. It just will, no matter what, and it will break down again. Everything tends to cost more and take longer. So what does it really take to do whatever it is you're trying to accomplish? How do I work with grantees is quest chapter five. Or in this context, it might be how do I work with others? And question six, the most important question in the book for a philanthropist, and I think the most important question in the book for most of us, am I getting better? Am I really getting better? When you're in school, you kind of know how you're trending. You got a lot of feedback loops. You're getting grades, for better or for worse. You can track it over time. Maybe you're getting jobs. You're looking at this. There's a lot of short-term feedback loops. Out there in the real world, the feedback loops are a little bit more distorted, not just in philanthropy, but in everything else. You work in a company, you get an annual performance review. Maybe useful, maybe not useful, but once a year is not enough. So this am I getting better question is one that loops back to old Wick Skinner and the complacency thing, don't get comfortable. 